Hey there, you filthy animals. Mr. Dirty, back another episode of the GTM Show. And today we've got Devour back on the show again. The other day I was tromping through the frozen food department and something caught my eye. It was out of place. It wasn't even with the other Devour stuff. It was kind of off, mixed in with some other stuff. I noticed one lonely Devour box sticking out of the crowd in like a sea of like lean cuisine and Stouffer. And it was a sandwich. And this type of thing you'd normally see with like a lean cuisine, like a panini, something like that. So... It just stuck out. As I crept up closer to it, I noticed it had a Deadpool 2 like cross-branding on it. So I figured it was new, even though it didn't have any kind of new branding on it. And it looks like they got a line of these sandwiches out. And now that I know more about them, I, figured, I found out there's like other flavors. And I probably would have liked any of the other flavors more than this one. But uh, just because it was an oddity, especially for the Devour line, I had to get it on the show. So today we're checking out Devour's Philly Cheesesteak Grilled Cheese Sandwich. And there's the package you're looking for if you're looking for this in your frozen food section of grocery store. Yeah, there it is, the Deadpool 2 pack, you know, cross-branding there. Yeah, they're saying grilled cheese sandwich, so they're not claiming it's a Philly cheesesteak. It's a grilled cheese sandwich It just happens to have some of the components um, as a they're talking about Angus beef, fire-roasted green peppers, caramelized onions, provolone cheese, and a golden crisp bread. And bam, there's the back of the box right there. While you're looking at the front, there's where I was getting my bullet points on the ingredients. Uh, speaking of, there's your nutrition fact chart, list of ingredients right there. Go ahead and pause the screen and read any of that if that's the kind of thing that interests you. Over here we have our cooking instructions. Go ahead and take a peek at that. Notice that there's no oven bake instructions on here. It's all microwavable. No convention oven, no toaster oven. They want us to tear the strip off the carton. They want us to remove the sandwich from the plastic wrapper. Then they want us to uh, place sandwich halves on a crisping sheet open face. Place on a microwavable plate in the center of the oven. Then they go on to say microwave it on high for 2 minutes and 40 seconds. Uh, we're going to look at the crisping sleeve and all that kind of stuff. Um, just to finish off the box here, we've got like a little blah, blah, blah going on right there. And every other panel is just product graphics with their logo and, you know, the branding for this product. All right, step one, the pull strip. All right, and there you go. Out of the box, that's what you get right there. There's your two halves of this uh, Philly grilled cheese sandwich right here. With our Angus meat, grilled peppers, and onions. Mm, all my favorite stuff, but that's what this show is kind of all about, trying new things, um, you know. Just because I'm not a big fan of onions and peppers on most things, once in a while, they're okay on some stuff. And this is how I find out what stuff I like it on and what I don't. So I guess we're supposed to uh, microwave this up on this crisping sleeve for the 2 minutes and 40 seconds, open face like this. And then after it stands, we flap it together and then eat it as a sandwich. So I suppose I'm going to run down. Hope, hold on tight. You're in for one delicious ride. There's that. So I'm going to run down, nuke this up. Come back, and we're going to see what we have for our Devour Philly Cheesesteak Grilled Cheese Sandwich. Stick around. All right, guys, we are back. We've got our Devour Philly Cheesesteak Grilled Cheese out of the microwave, where it's been in there for 2 minutes, 40 seconds, and it's in its one-minute waiting period. They told us to wait for one minute, but hell, this thing is looking and smelling really good, so I want you to see what we're working with here. Bam, there you go. Yeah, looking pretty damn tasty. And right now you can see exactly how much meat we've got. It's still open-faced. I haven't flapped it over yet. About to do so. You can see how fresh the uh, green peppers and the onions are. The uh, cheese at the two-minute mark, nice and bubbly around the edges. My microwave has a nice window in the front of it. You can watch the entire show go down. Um, then about like the 30 seconds left mark, it started to bubble up in the center. And yeah, well cooked, I would say. Let's flip it over and look at the bottom of it. All right, so I flapped it over to make our sandwich. And yeah, not looking too bad. I gotta say, I'm pretty sure this was pre-toasted before it went in. Who knows, we didn't go looking at that, but yeah, the appearance right now, not too bad. And on just the touch, the texture of this right now is still a little wet, microwavable bread kind of deal. But as we've seen in the past, as this stands, maybe for like another 60 seconds, as this dries out and cools off, it becomes more like regular toast, where it's like crispy, flaky. But yeah, overall, I'm going to say, yeah, not a bad, oh, look, how, look at all that meltiness. Yeah, this is looking pretty damn good. Probably better than anything Lean Cuisine has. A little bit of that Angus meat tumbled out. I'm going to go in on that right now before we go snapping into the entire sandwich. All right, the meat itself isn't too bad. Um, very juicy, uh, tender. 
The chew isn't like chewy. It's almost kind of melty, that kind of tenderness. You still have to chew it a little, but it's not tough by any means whatsoever. Um, there's a little bit of an herbiness on there, so it's like pre-seasoned meat. So right here at this end, I see a bit of the, uh, the green peppers, the onions and everything kind of like puking out the side there. I'm gonna take a snap right there. And just as I said, as it's been standing for like another minute or so, the, the bread itself has gone to more of a toast form and not, not so wet and kind of like steamed out. Down the hatch with our Devour Philly Cheesesteak Grilled Cheese. All right, first snap in, pretty good. And I get like a tanginess and a smokiness of almost like a, a chipotle kind of flavor going on there too. Might be something mixed in with the cheese. I didn't read the box too closely to find out. All right, we got a mix going on here. It says melted cheddar, mozzarella, and provolone. When I was reading the bullet points off the back, I just read like the, uh, you know, the bold face stuff, which was just provolone, but right there with it was the melted cheddar and the mozzarella. And you can definitely taste like a smoked provolone, smoked mozzarella going on there. Wow, this is incredibly cheesy. Just every bite, just melted cheese gushing out everywhere. The onions and the peppers, I can't say that they have a real standout flavor. They're not an issue or a problem for me at all. Myself, the onion pepper hater. Yeah, they just kind of like blend in with everything else. Actually, I would say that the onions don't really have any flavor at all on this. The green peppers, every once in a while, you might hit some faint notes of like a gardeny kind of pepper flavor there. But um, yeah, it just comes across more of like seasoning. Everything is just drenched up in so much of that cheese that yeah, if you're an onion pepper hater like me, this shouldn't pose any concern whatsoever. All right, about halfway through the sandwich here, I did just hit like a, a fatty bit on the meat. And it wasn't like overly fatty. Uh, it was still mostly meat, but it was fatty enough to where it was gristly, to where I couldn't really uh, chew through it. It didn't break up when you chew. So I ended up spitting it out. And for me, that's a drawback. Not to say that we're not dealing with good quality meat here. I'm just saying they need to trim it up a bit. I definitely see myself buying this again. It wouldn't be a go-to, and I definitely look forward to the other flavors. But yeah, trim up that meat a bit, and I might give it a high four, but right now, like this, with a little bit of fatty meat going on there, yeah, solid four out of five. So there you have it, the Devour Philly Cheesesteak Grilled Cheese Sandwich. If you see this or any of the other flavors in your grocer's freezer, definitely pick it up, give it a try. I'm Mr. Dirty, this is the GTM Show. Don't forget you can buy knucklehead shirts and hoodies down in the description. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram, at the Real Mr. Dirty. And as always, get out of here, go have a rotten day.